Hello, this is Horror Studio One, and this is my unedited podcast. Hello, guys. Welcome to the unedited podcast. Um, yeah, sorry if it sounds a little bit weird today. I'm actually recording. Oh my god, the mic keeps falling. But I am actually recording this podcast inside of a car as I'm driving somewhere. But yeah, just a quick podcast. I wanted to talk to you guys about a certain very interesting topic that I just recently started doing. It is insane. I don't know if you guys believe it, if you guys have done it before in the past, but it's called a past life regression. And basically what this is is that there's like this belief that every single one of us in this world have a past life. And um, our physical bodies that we inhabit in this world is just like a temporary shell for us, you know? In reality, our souls have lived for millions of years. Now, I, I'm i really into like the alien kind of stuff, if you guys know, of course, like why would not not be? Because I run this, you know, supernatural channel here. But um, I have read articles in the past and, uh, you know, the ancient aliens theories that we are all aliens and that our souls have lived for billions of years and stuff like that. And um, I actually did believe that. And um, I just never really dwelled into it and tried it myself uh, to try to uncover those parts of me. I guess it's out of fear, out of doubt, out of ego even. Like, But um, recently my, my, my friend has been telling me to like go do this. And then, um, you know, she did it herself. And I, had, I know a couple other people that have done it as well. Um, and they have produced certain results uh, with uh, past life regression. They've seen things, and um, there's people that I know that are even more crazy about it. Like they, they do it constantly. Like they do it like three times, four times uh, to try to really uncover what their past life is. And my question to these people are always like, why would you want to do that? What is the point of looking into the past so much? And then they, they said something that kind of did resonate and then kind of made sense to me was that I want to know what my skills are. Like, what if past life I was a really good cook or something like that? And um, it's like ability that I've never dwelled into. And then now I want to see if, if by uncovering that, I would be a better cook in this life because I've had that talent for many, many years. And it kind of does make sense. I mean, if you really do think about it, like, why are some people more talented at certain things than other people? Like, is it really just by chance or is it because... Um, according to this theory, okay, it's like their souls have been doing this for thousands of years. Like past life, you were uh, a, a, a cook per se, okay, and then this life, you're really talented at cooking, even when you're like a little kid. Like that can really explain for this talent or this unfair advantage in this world. So, I um, I, I wanted to do it. I tried it uh, one night. You know, I there's a video online. I actually have it right here on my phone. It's um, if you if you type in past life regression in the YouTube search, it's the first video that comes up. It's called Hypnosis for Past Life Regression, and it's by an individual called Michael Seely. It has over like two two million to almost uh, three three million views. Uh, basically, it's like an hour long YouTube video where it's just audio, just very much like my videos, uh, of which he kind of does a hypnosis on you, and it's the best if you actually put in your headphones and you're listening to this as you have your headphones in a relaxed position. Um, but try not to fall asleep. Basically, the whole video is him bringing you into this hypnosis state where you're in between being awake and being completely asleep. And uh, you're in and out of consciousness. And uh, he, he guides you through your body and uh, your soul. He speaks to your inner soul. Uh, and you try to create images that uh, he's telling you. Uh, it's like, oh, look at your feet or think about, you know, the past when you were, you know, 15, when you were 16, when you were five. Like, it keeps going back and back until he, 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 he guides you. It's like a guiding thing. But uh, his theory is that he's not the one creating these images in your mind. He's like a guide that's taking you through your own mind like a tour guide. But the location is still yourself. So you are showing these images to yourself. And... Um, I, like my, my, my friends, they, 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 they said that, you know, they saw that in their past life, they were, uh, they, they, they were uh, like a ancient woman who was like a good at making clothes and shit. And then I had a, an, an, another friend that said they were like a king. Like, I know a lot of these come with a power of suggestion. And I think that's what gives me the most skeptical feelings about doing this is because how would I know what I'm feeling right now or the images that I'm portraying? are real actual images that really happened or are they a dream or am i making it out to be like that you know like if you're telling me oh uh what do you want to be in your past life or you're telling me we're doing this you know exercise to delve into your past life 
of course my wish that in my past life I was like a great person or something like I wish I was Jesus Christ or or not maybe not Jesus Christ but I mean like I wish I was Walt Disney or I wish I was Bruce Lee in, in my past life like you would suggest those things and then you would want to see the images that you want to see that's just my opinion so that was what kept me most skeptical about going into it but I feel like you know, I, 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 I was interested, so I tried doing it, and uh, yeah, it was a pretty interesting experience for me. Meditation is really hard, because if you guys know me, and you, you can hear by the way I talk, I am really a fast-paced person, so for me to relax and really just trust in myself that way, like throw myself completely onto myself uh, without any fear or any thoughts going through my head is a very difficult thing for me to do. And thus the reason I feel like the first time I did this exercise, I didn't do it the best, but I still saw some stuff and um, I'm going to relay them to you guys and uh, I'll, I'll see what you guys think about it. So put it in the comments. So basically I got into the state, you know, I put on headphones, I turned off all the lights. I was in my bed, I was in my room, it was really dark. And then um, I started going through the exercise. It was insane though. Like I, I, I mean, because I was tired, but the very beginning when he, he told me to really go deep and relax my body, I was actually able to do that. And it's so freaking freaky, was basically when I really relaxed and went really deep in, I felt like I was spinning. It's not even like a tingling sensation. It started with a tingling sensation, but it got to the point where I felt like I was physically spinning on something. And then I like kind of started freaking out because I was like, shit, like this is too real for me, you know? I think that's one of the things because um, I had a lot of fear in me before going into it like I was I was really afraid that what if my past life like I, I died a really traumatic death or like I was a slave or you know what I mean like I was thinking really like these negative things so going into it even I I, I was like like expecting the worst a little bit like you usually I'm not like this but I don't know why like because I, I I thought like like back in the day like people lived hard lives like I, I didn't want to see some horrible horrible stuff you know so I, I I was I was freaking out because I was spinning so fast and then I think that was the moment where I was deepest into it was the very beginning. And then from that point on, I basically tried my hardest to regain that feeling. And the more I, the more harder I tried, it was, it's like you're trying to fall asleep, right? The more harder you try to fall asleep, the harder it is for you to fall asleep because the idea of falling asleep and the idea of hypnosis is to just actually relax and naturally go into it, right? It's like talking to girls, you know? It's like the more you try, the harder it is to produce good results. So um, for the rest of it, I, there were moments where I slipped. I knew I slipped in and out of it. Some moments I was thinking too much. Some moments I tried to not think so much. Uh, but I, 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 there was moments where we had to like envision that we were some like on a beach. Like I'll tell you a bit about it. So if you guys do try to do this, uh, I'll probably put like a link in the description or something. You guys can go and try it yourselves. Uh, don't make the mistakes that I did, but um, there is the part where he tells you like to imagine a beach and um, all, all, all that kind of stuff. That part I really kind of messed up on, I feel, because at that point I was already trying too hard and I knew I was like, shit, like I probably should give up, right? Like I was thinking that because um, I, it was like, it was already like kind of too late for me, I kind of felt because I already was too stressed out by myself, you know? And uh, what the images I saw afterwards I can't really conclude that they were real or not because I had that feeling of being so stressed. So, but I'll still tell you guys what I actually saw because he was suggesting that I look down at my feet. This is the, like close to the end of the, of, of the session where you're supposed to look down on your feet and you're supposed to tell him like what you, what you see. That is, you know, that is you. You're supposed to be in another realm. And when I looked down at my feet, I saw that I had these big ass, dirty ass feet and I was not wearing shoes, I was shoeless. And uh, when I looked at my surroundings at that moment, I was in like some kind of wooden hut and I looked around and I had like these feathers on my head. And when, and when, when he said something like, oh, uh, look at your face, like how, how you look and stuff. I looked and I was like, I was like really ugly, dude. I was like, <laughs> I was like a fucking, I looked like a caveman, but like, I, I know. And then I, he's like, oh, go, go to your surroundings and see. And it was like this kind of like this jungle-ish place. And my, my house, like my hut, the wooden hut that I lived in, was situated on top of a tree it was a tree house actually and there was like other people around there as well that kind of looked like me but they were like really a bit a bit hostile to be honest i don't know why i think it was just like a bar barbaric older kind of society like legit that is what i saw um i'm thinking a lot of the stuff is 
like the power of suggestion, like I said, because I knew I was going into, in, in, into this and I had read so much of other people's experiences, I think I kind of transpired that kind of thought those images into my head are already and I created them that's just my opinion on it like I could have been that person like I could have been that he kind of looked like those cavemen guys you know what I mean I mean hey I'm down for that I think that's fucking cool you know but um I could have been that but am, am like truthfully honestly because I was so not into it at that point like I was so stressing myself out so much it could have been just me making something up and that's the point I always think I read a lot of comments talking about as well like how do you know that you know you're not making it up or if it really happened and people say that when you're in that moment those things you see you're making up they're actually not made up they're real like the, like the theory that they're trying to say is that when you think you're making stuff up in your brain and you think it's just from nowhere what if it's the other way around whether, whether that stuff happened and it's memories and you think you made it up like that it's just some some deep ass shit here so um yeah it was my first session doing it in my whole entire life hyp hypnosis so i've never been hypnotized before um I, yeah I, i'll probably do it again and tell you guys what i think afterwards the, the the comments are pretty hardcore like the thing is because i read my friends been telling me so much about it and i read all the youtube comments on the video like the, oh yeah like some dude from you know uh Ohio would say like, oh yeah, past life, I was a Native American woman and um, I, I, I rode with the wolves and stuff. And it's like, whoa, like what the hell? Like, it's like that kind of stuff. And I think I took all that too much. So I will be trying a second time in the near future, uh, probably in like a week or so. Like these next couple of days are pretty freaking busy for me. But um, if I find time, because this thing for me, another fear I had doing this was because myself i'm a very focused and very motivated person and i have a certain way of doing things in my life and i've always feared that by doing this i'm opening myself up to something that will kill or lose my motivation like it's kind of weird saying it but that is also a fear of mine like to just have i don't know like just to like it, I'm, I'm afraid it'll waver me in some kind of way so um but yeah i will definitely be trying it uh, i'll put a link in the description for sure go 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 take a look if you're interested in this kind of stuff and yeah, put it in the comments. If, if you guys have any experiences, you got to tell me and uh, we'll, we'll share. We'll, we'll talk about it because for me, it's hard to get into that state. So anyways, guys, I love you guys so much. Thank you for the continued support. Uh, go check out my vlog channel if you guys haven't. I do a lot of crazy stuff on there. And uh, yeah, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.